Greetings, Traveler, and welcome back to the Lapis Kingdom. I am the Blue Regent, and today we're going to be working on getting some more resources for the barracks, as well as setting up something that we have been talking about doing for quite a while now. So if you're ready, settle up, and let's begin. So I've got some stone in here cooking into smooth stone, but I'm starting to feel like this process is becoming extremely resource heavy and if you remember last episode we got this silk touch diamond pickaxe and so I'm gonna head down and we're gonna look into seeing if we can figure out where that slime chunk is near our zombie spawner okay so somewhere in this area there is a slime chunk I believe so let's see if I can do this let's go we're gonna go Using F3G, I'm gonna figure out where the chunks are. And I feel like this probably isn't where the slime came from. So it's probably one of these two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to essentially just mine out these two chunks and go from there. And I have to say, you know, I've never really played around with Silk Touch on a pickaxe before. And that's usually because my thought process is, if I need stone, I'll just use a furnace. However, this is just a way better use of my time. And everyone who's done this is probably saying, yeah, that uh, it is a better use of your time. And I, I, uh, I realize the error of my ways now. You know, I think I'm a fully converted silk touch when I need stone person. Because like, think about how much coal would go into turning all of this what would have been cobblestone into stone it's just it's just better especially for the scale at which i'm going to be building it's good to just have this stone okay so we found two of the corners of this particular chunk and we're just going to keep working Because this pickaxe doesn't have mending on it, I really need to keep an eye on its durability. In an ideal world, a slime will appear while I'm doing this, and I won't have to mine out both of these, and that would be super nice. Okay, so I've got this chunk cleared out, and now I'm going to clear out this chunk over here. Okay, and here's a corner, so now we'll start working this way. And I can hear lava, so I need to be careful and make sure I don't accidentally create a lava flow into what I'm working on. Ooh, gold. Okay, and there's another corner. So we'll just keep getting this kind of outlined. Okay, well, we haven't had a slime spawn in here while I've been working, but that doesn't mean anything. So we'll just kind of keep going and see what happens. There's something so relaxing about just taking time to mine out a space. You know, I, I really enjoy the building and I really enjoy the adventuring, but something about this, this like sort of mundane and tedious task it's just really it just feels nice you know especially if you've had like a long day or if you're, you're kind of tired and you and you want to play oh i am low on inventory space and by low i mean out um okay um well i might have to make a run to a chest do you have space in you? Not really. 
Um, that's okay. We'll just we'll just make a run up top, and come back and keep working. I'll just throw all the ores there for now, and I'll come back for them. So like I was saying, you know, anytime you're like tired or worn out or just don't really have the energy to work on a big project, this in itself is such a huge step forward progress wise that, you know, it's nice to just do and you can just kind of zone out and mine and get stuff done. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty tight on inventory space now, so I, I think I don't have a choice anymore. I do have to go back up. Now, luckily, when I designed this place, I gave myself some room to store stuff. Over here is a perfect place to leave all this stone, and we'll get back to it. On top of all the stone that I'm getting, all the dirt down here is going to be super great, too. It's... Dirt's definitely one of those resources where it feels like you have a ton until you start using it, and then suddenly it feels like you just burn through it super fast. Okay, so it took a little time, but the two chunks that I believe that one of them is the slime spawner are opened up. And so now I think what I have to do is wait. I think. But we... <clears throat> but we will see. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully I was right. It would really, it would really be something if it was like one, one of these two, and that's <laughs> that's where it actually is. But I don't think that's the case. I think I'm pretty sure it's one of these. So I was turning off the zombie spawner, and I came out from dealing with all of that, and look what I found. So I definitely was right. One of these for sure is a slime chunk, which is great. But now, the dilemma is, which one? And so what I'm gonna do, as soon as I deal with all of these new friends we just made, is I'm going to build a barrier between the two chunks so that they can't travel back and forth between the two. So let's see, I'll do... bit of this for right now and then I'm going to close this off and then we'll wait so something I can do while I'm waiting is I'm gonna run everything I'm currently carrying back up hopefully somewhere in my return time the slimes will spawn in that chunk well nobody spawned while we were coming back which is okay thing I do know is that sitting in this area, <clears throat> sitting over here is far enough away. So I'm just going to sit over here and kind of just keep an eye out from a distance. So I've been running around and I gathered up all of my resource ores again and just kind of waiting for the slimes to spawn. And I heard this. I think there's a cave nearby, and so let's see if we can find it. Because this might be hurting the spawn rate of the slimes and also possibly the zombie farm while it's active. Ah, yep. Well, there you go. There's 
one down. And there's two down. Now let's be careful. And try to avoid being blown up or anything. Oh, um, <laughs> so this is a cave. And... Cool. I'm going to grab these diamonds. That was nice. That was a nice little side quest we just did there. Let's go see if the slimes have spawned. And also, I don't need... I don't need the chunk borders on anymore. So let's see. Hello? Okay. Hmm. Well, I really believe that this is the chunk that they're from. But I don't want to commit to it. Because if I'm wrong, then I have to do it twice. So I just, I need you to spawn. Could you do that? That'd be great. Maybe I'll go back down into this cave and grab some more of this ore. Like, why not, right? I just heard another zombie, which means there's another cave nearby, which means they are probably messing with my slime spawning. Are they above me? It sounds like it might be this direction. Ah, okay, all right. Oh, it's a ravine. This is a ravine. There's a skeleton trying to get feisty with me. And I know that there are zombies nearby. So let's just um let's just come down here. Ah, there's the zombie. All right. Oh, now I'm on fire. <laughs> No, thank you, creeper. There is a salmon. Apparently. It's odd. It's a zombie trapped by a current. Now, I don't believe that I'm going to get all of this lit up down here. But if I get most of it lit up... Yeah, I know, I know you're following me. But if I get most of it lit up, I feel like that will help. And... Um... Oh. This is our... Oh, we've been in this ravine. Okay. This is the ravine that you can get to from the Cow Crush Farm area. Huh. Okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. Um, so we'll just get some of this area lit up. It doesn't need to be all of it. But just enough to help... Yes. Just enough to help cut down on some of these mob spawns. And we'll come back. And hopefully we weren't too far. And we'll check again on the slimes. Okay, well... Hmm. So they really don't want to spawn now. And that's kind of frustrating. It's not the end of the world. I just have to spend some more time waiting, I guess. Like, could I be wrong, though? Like, what if... What if this chunk is the chunk that they're coming from? And them huddling over here is because this is where they're actually from. If that's true... They were spawning in a very small space. But I guess it's possible? Maybe I'll just hang out in here for a second. Because this is where... This is where I was working where... 
This is where I was working when the last one spawned. So maybe we'll just hang out in here for a second. Oh! Yes! <laughs> so... No joke. I had just turned the zombie spawner back on because I was going to grind out some experience. And look at this. Look at this guy. Oh man. I can't believe that. That's so funny. So this is the this is the slime chunk. This one right here. Okay. Well, great. Now we know that. And so now that means I can turn this into a slime farm. And that's going to be great because being able to get a lot of slime balls so that I can make slime blocks for decoration is going to be huge for when we start building like swamps and stuff. So cool. So now we know this is the one right here and this is just a big empty space, but that's okay. You're, you're, you're my big empty space. So I guess I'll, um, grab all the ore and stuff out of here and kind of tighten this back up a little bit and then go from there. So I've cleared the space out and I've started working on my slime farm. This is the same kind of slime farm that Logical Geek Boy shows in his making a slime farm tutorial. I'm not really going to go into the design of it because this isn't my design. However, the way that he explains how to make this is a super useful and easy to understand way to do it. And so let's see here. I'm going to throw these trap doors here. I'm going to throw these trap doors here. One, two, three, four. Nope, 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 nope. Oh no. Iron Golem. <sighs> Man. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'll just let you hang out there for now. Okay, let's try this again. We're going to go one, two, three. Oh, shoot. Um. Oh, what if I put this... Okay, we're going to put this a little bit closer. And hopefully... This works. Oh, oh, I know why it didn't work. Okay. Nope, I was, I was right. Um, okay, let me try this again. Uh, what if I did this? Okay, new strategy. Okay, all right, here we go. We're doing this. Yeah, yeah, cool. Put that there. Um, hurry and, uh, yes. Ooh, okay, shoo. That was close. And now this iron golem is trapped up here. And... <laughs> that was, uh, that was a bit of a mess, but that's okay. Because now we can get on to the next step. And that also means I don't need my temporary stairs here anymore. Okay. Um, Wandering Iron Golem, I don't really know what to do with you. But I don't think you can stay around, so I think I've got to get rid of you, actually, unfortunately. <sighs> that's a waste of resources. But that's okay. That's okay. It's, it's for progress. I also had to change... One of the things I had to do is... The hallway to get into the strip mines needed to be moved because I needed to clear out some extra space as far as opening this up. Okay, so now I think I want... Um, this might actually be too low. That's okay. All right. So this... This is going to be the layer that the fire goes in. So... Let's put a 
chest here. Hopper here. We'll head to the hopper here. Hopper's here. Okay. This can actually be filled back in, I think. We're just gonna go. Hopper's feeding into these. Now the reason I'm using soul campfires instead of regular campfires is apparently they do more damage, which is kind of cool and good to know. So that is the reasoning behind that. Okay. Now I think this is done for the most part. I don't think anything can jump but <clears throat> I don't think anything can jump back out of there. So let's grab our crafting table and we can close this up um, okay so now this is kind of a mess but we can get this fixed up real quick okay so now that's all sorted out now we can figure out our collection area okay so now I can get into there get a second chest put down and I'm gonna put a second chest here so now we got our collection area set up and that should be it I think that's everything that I need to get this going and we'll throw a torch here and that should be it so hopefully we now have an AFK slime farm so I'm just gonna come down here and hang out and we'll just kind of hang out for a while and wait and see what happens so I waited for a while but I um apparently don't have the patience to kind of just hang out so I'm gonna grab all of my ores that I mined earlier and we're gonna see what we got out of them I'll throw my iron in here with the rest of the iron I got earlier today I'll throw my gold in the town hall smelter okay let's do this we're just gonna go um we'll save diamond for last Do redstone after that. Lapis. And uh, coal. Uh oh, getting close to the build height limit. Can we make it? Oh, placed them all. This is kind of a cool view. This is pretty high up there, for sure. Alright, let's make sure we've got the right diamond axe equipped. Um, Fortune 3, yep, let's do it. And the diamonds. Cool. I would call that a good haul. Refill our town center smelters. Grab this gold. Top off all of our blast furnaces to the best of our ability. Throw the rest of our coal in storage. Throw our gold in there. Continue to fill out our diamond barrel. Oh, yeah. That's pretty great. Probably can find a home in one of these. Uh, this should be gravel. Um, your smooth stone. Throw that in here for now. This room can be granite and andesite. And diorite can go in here, too. Throw all this lapis and redstone in here, and uh, zombie flesh and slime ball can go in there too. Now that all the resources from clearing all this out is put away, let's go check out the storage for the slime farm and see if it's doing its job. It is. Awesome. Okay, so it works. Great. I, um, I was a little nervous. I'm not sure why. Uh... 
probably because just like so many other things I've made for this essentially resource collection village, I've never made a slime farm before, so awesome. So we figured out where the slime chunk was and we have our slime farm officially going, which now means that we are reliably able to produce one more block that we're going to need when we start building Azeroth. That is going to be it for today. I look forward to seeing you next time in the Lapis Kingdom. Bye!